Hey people injured here, welcome to some Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War. It's a lot of words and it's a new 4x strategy game. Came out yesterday in fact, I snapped it up. I wasn't gonna, but a bunch of people asked me to cover it, so here we are. I wasn't particularly impressed with the early showings of the game. And unfortunately I'm not particularly impressed now either after playing it all through the night. Straight away this main menu, I mean it looks half decent, but it doesn't... There's no logo, There's it doesn't tell us the name of the game, apart from the version number in the bottom right, which is very odd. There is a launcher before this, but still. Let's have some stuff on this screen, maybe. Let's look at the settings. Very basic stuff. Video, unfortunately you get poor quality anti-aliasing, it's just FXAA. We've got some audio sliders, and we've got this thing. Note that there's absolutely no mention of controls, hotkeys, anything like that, which is pretty bizarre in a strategy game. Can edit the credits and see that this was published by Slytherin. Seem to be churning out quite a bunch of Warhammer 40k games. None of them very very good. They're kind of decent and relatively expensive I think. This game was over 30, I think it's like 31 pounds for some reason. And uh, if we don't want to watch the rest of the video I'll tell you right now it's not worth that. Okay, so here's the setup team, the setup screen, I should say. I've been playing on hard difficulty, which doesn't seem that bad. I'm going to be playing the Space Marines. This is a first impressions video, guys. So, in all seriousness, if you're looking to maybe pick this up, go check out an actual review instead of just listening to my ramblings. We've got an advanced menu here. The UI is bad. There's lots of space here for you to use. You don't need to put it in a little box, guys. You can set the geography of stuff and how often things spawn and the density. There's also a DLC tab, Lord of Skulls. I'm assuming it's a neutral unit because there's no chaos in the game. This was for the pre-order since I technically purchased the game a few hours before it launched. Four factions, let's put them all in. Astra Militarum, green team can be Orcs, and we've got some Necrons. It's nice to see the Necrons in a 40k game from the start. You can also rename the AI players for some reason, which is, I think, kind of fun. They gits. So, um, hard difficulty basically seems to buff the AI's loyalty, as you see here, which is a mechanic in the game that basically just gives you more resources. These guys all get an advantage, and I don't. I'm going to hit start here, and um, a very serious sounding space marine guy is going to start talking. And this, as far as I know, as far as I've seen, is the only voice work you get in the game. I'm assuming each faction has its own cinematic intro. And we're going to see it now. It says some very strange things too. Proxy Studios. Slytherin published. Let's do it. Gladius Prime was a bastion of humanity. Newly colonized. A suitable base for our chapter to rebuild and recruit. We Space Marines raised our fortress here. Grew strong again. But the Orc invasion brought a warp storm that cut off our Emperor's light. And the Dread Necrons crawled from the earth beneath our feet. War was on all sides, yet we are the Emperor's Chosen. We do not dread the dark, or quail at the relics of old. Terror is for those who oppose us. We know no fear. Alrighty then. So we're on a planet called Gladius, and everyone's shown up, which is the classic Warhammer 40k game setup. He mentioned in that thing, uh, our chapter can rebuild and recruit. What chapter? What chapter is it? Are these Ultramarines? I didn't see any Ultramarine symbols. And why did the Orcs bring a Warp Storm with them? So here's the game, guys. It's not a looker. I'm going to say it straight away. Look at these Marines. These are bad looking Marines. This is the bare minimum you can do to put a Space Marine in your game in 2018. The legs don't look right, they don't stand right, the animations are bad, the textures are 
it's just blue. Where's the detail? And there are some units in the game that look better than this. So why would you not put more effort in your tactical marines? I don't understand it. Not not impressed with the visual presentation at all. So um, space marines. Then you start with two tactical marines. Let's have a look at these guys real quick. They've got some armor. They've got some hit points. They've got some morale. Morale goes down. You lose your accuracy. And it goes down by stuff dying around you and that kind of thing. And certain traits and abilities will do it. Actions, i.e. shooting stuff, you've got one. Three movement points on our marines and some levels. They have got bolt guns. Doing some damage, no penetration, accuracy, range, all that good stuff. As you can see, they've got a trait, rapid fire. If you can get in half range, which is one hex away for this gun, you'll do a bunch more damage. Note that each model attacks, so as the unit takes damage... And you drop models, you're going to do less damage yourself. So um, they've done a pretty good job, I should say, of differentiating the, dif the different factions. So Space Marines only get a single city. And they deliver it on the planet, of course, by a drop pod. I don't know how big this drop pod is, but you've got to choose your starting location. These numbers you're seeing, these percentage gains, are bonuses for those resources. The blue diamond thing, in fact, I can cancel this and show you. We've got requisitions with an S on the end. It's used to, um, oh, it tells you there. Produce, construct buildings and produce and maintain units. Energy is much the same thing, but it's kind of slightly more advanced, I guess. We've got research and influence, which is used for like global abilities. And for space marines, they're called operations. Although you don't need to spend any for your, for deploying your city. So let's try and find a good place. It's nice to find a place with three slots like this because as soon as you drop it it already has two buildings on it that um white symbol there i'm talking about i'm not sure what shape that's meant to be but if you can find one for with three it means you can instantly construct a building without having to expand to a different hex so um unfortunately these have negative loyalty modifiers but i think because it's oh because it's savannah I guess. Orcoid fungus, which sounds fun. Unfortunately, it's nothing to do with space marines. Um, I guess we can drop it here. It's got three slots and no bad loyalty. Okay. Biggest drop pod ever comes in. Gives us a random name. You can rename the cities. Indrid is tired. He's been playing this game all night. And let's have a look at this UI, guys. This UI is pretty bad. This is like the worst 4X UI I've ever seen, I must say. I know I'm being harsh. I know it's not easy to make video games, but come on. These are some bad Marines, and this is a bad bad UI. So we produce... We choose buildings here. We've got stuff that gives us more requisition. Stuff that gives us more energy. Stuff that gives us more research. Stuff that gives us more influence. Influence is very, very important. And this thing, an Apothecarian. Is that an actual thing in the law? I don't know. But it lets us make infantry so we're going to get one immediately and we're going to construct it here you probably can't see but there are three hexagons here one of them's three so we can put it right there it's going to take six turns so we've got to wait a while you see the the uh, fortress came ready with a great hall and an orbital relay orbital relay build the buildings for you and the Great Hall just gives you a bunch of resources. You can see them all here. We do have a population. You need one point of population to kind of man every unit. I'm not sure who it is. Is it just servitors maybe? Very strange. F typical Forex mechanics kind of fall down when it's Warhammer 40k I feel like. We've got growth which uh, gives us an extra point of population after so many turns and all that good stuff. So um, where has it started us? In the bottom left corner, it looks like. Alrighty then. We've found some features, which is a weird weird thing to call them. But let's have a look. Necron tombs. This is These are the sites where Necrons can build their cities. So not anything to do with us. We've got a fermentation pool. Which uh, gives you extra stuff if you can build on it. So space marines, since they can only build one uh, city, they need to drop these things. Fortress of Redemption to um, get, get as you can see, gather resources. They're called outposts, and you can capture them by just walking unit on side. 
that will give us the plus two requisition per turn. But of course, anyone can just walk on this thing and take it away from us. So you generally want to protect them, if you can, with a Fortress of Redemption, which costs 50 influence, but that goes up. That cost goes up by 50 influence every time you use it. So getting influence is pretty damn important. We're going to generally, I think, head north. Sure. Head into these Imperial Ruins, which blocks line of sight and um, is hard to move through. Note that once I move this unit, I can't move them again. Which makes scouting very hazardous, because you'll be jumped on immediately. It reminds me a lot of the Warlock games. I'm not sure if you played those. In terms of the combat and uh, the fact that scouting is tough, can get you killed. So here's our research. It's a choose your way through tiered system. You need to choose two from each tier and research them to get to the next one. But it's worth sticking around. Got some good options here. Number one tip, get frag grenades. They're amazing. And all of your infantry gets them. Even your heroes get them. So we'll get that queued up. And um, we found some wire weed. What's this? Oh, this purple crap that you can't walk through and it hurts you if you stand on it. Quite a lot, actually. Let's end the turn. It's given us a quest. Each faction has a quest line. If you go through the entire quest line, you win the game. You can also win, of course, by um, just killing everyone. And those quest objectives get very, very tough. So go through them at your own peril. You can just ignore them if you want. But of course, you're missing out on rewards. The first one is asking us to put down a Fortress of Redemption to gather some resources. So what we'll do is we'll put it beside this fermentation pool. But we need 50 influence first. Right now, I'm going to continue heading north. We're waiting five turns for our Apothecarian, unfortunately. We're looking out now for some more resources to gather. So we've got this overmap kind of combat system, which is not something I favor. It tends to be very, very slow. I much prefer the discrete stacks of units and armies that then go into another tactical battle layer, much like Age of Wonders, which I've played on this channel a bunch. This is kind of the Civ way of doing things. And the combat here is, I mean, it's not bad. The mechanics are sound. It just looks really bad. And it's, it's, and it's slow. It's not, it's not very remarkable. Let's, um... Oh, by the way, we have Overwatch. The, your fortress here can shoot. It's got guns on it, as you can see. In fact, it's got bolt guns and a las cannon. So do your, your Fortress of Redemptions. We'll put our first one down here. Just to show you. I mean, you could wait and uh, claim this tile with your fortress itself. Note that we are getting resources from it because we built an outpost by standing on it. But if we drop the fortress beside it, we'll get even more resources. You'll see our requisition per turn tick up once this comes into play. There we go. So we've got that. We've got some requisition as a... Um, Reward. I really think the game should start you off with your basic infantry building. Why does it make you build it? You can literally do nothing. You can't get any units up without doing that. Let's, um... All oh, right, we've done it. End turn. Let's continue going north. I can't see any other resources. This is the early game, guys. Of course, I am going to load up another game a bit later on that's a bit further in so you can see some of the later units not sure if i already said that but there you go note that there is a cooldown on our fortress of redemption so you can't spam them one after the other hot tip do everything you can to get influence it's awesome and turn again that is a catcher and devil why they are on gladius i don't know there's also some croup hounds over here and if you want to look at some quality model work, let's have a look at these guys. I mean, what is going on here? These look like PlayStation 1 models. Guys, come on now. And it, the, the quality is it's just all over the place. 
you have stuff like this, and you have some of the Necron units that actually look pretty decent. Or some of the Orc units too. But that's just terrible. I've got to say it. Where did that Catish should never go? They always have a layer. That might be the layer there. They are tough. Big armor penetration. And a bunch of armor themselves. So they don't have a lot of hit points. So here's our Fortress of Redemption. It does have guns. It's now given us some extra stuff. It's also on Overwatch. And has a heal. Hold position until healed. It can't move. It's a unit thing. Note that units in this game take ages to heal up. Which just helps make everything slower. So here's our Catachan Devil. It's in a forest. Does that give it some kind of cover bonus? Maybe? I don't know. It's got a melee weapon. Three attack doing three damage each. That's pretty bad. Lots of armor penetration and some pretty decent accuracy. It's painful. It's also got Hammer of Wrath. Which is kind of, that's like that symbol means more damage for more damage for more models in the squad kind of thing. Grenades have the same deal going on. So we're going to take a point blank shot so that it's rapid fire. Decent sound effects I must say of those bolt guns. I can't move you. I guess I moved you already. Bro. We'll shoot you from there then. Chipping away. He's going to really hurt our marines. It's kind of unlucky. To find a Catachan Devil this close to your base. Usually it's a bunch of Troot Hounds early on. So you can click these things and get a little bit of lore. Tells you some stuff. It's not bad, you get to see all the traits. Not sure why it gives you a cost. I don't think there's any way to get these things. Troot Hounds. They have move through cover, I think. Yeah, over there. So our city population has gr grown. You need to use population to operate buildings, as it says there. So at some point, this six is going to get filled up and we're going to need to build a thing to get more. I forgot what it's called now. End turn. Get our frag grenade next turn. It's not going to be very helpful against this guy, though. Ouch. Wow. Took out two other models. Six damage is a lot. Frag grenades... So if we look at it here, you see it has Blast, scales the damage with the group size of the target unit, which I believe is what this guy is doing. Maybe not. Maybe it's just a general damage symbol over there. Again, the UI, guys. So I don't think you do have Blast, you just have Hammer of Wrath. Increases the damage. Okay, it's just on court, it just buffs his damage, okay. I thought it was more complicated than that. Overthinking things. We're going to take some shots. We might lose a marine here. Almost got him. So he's not going to kill us. We'll be okay. And we'll get a bunch of XP for taking him down too. Choose research. So I'm going to go for reclusium. This gives you heroes. And they are very, very good. At least the captain is, which is the first hero you can get. He's insane, especially when getting some good war gear. End turn. Hatterton Devil runs away. Wow, that is some movement speed. So you generally want to chase things down when you can, because they're just going to heal up and come back and be annoying. Can we finish it off here? Nope, we're too far away. I need to chase it. That thing might spawn another freaking Hatterton Devil too. We found a Jacaro trader encampment. Those are the apes from the lore. Why they are, again, why are they on Gladius? I have no idea. Where was that thing? I should have paid attention. Oh, it's right here, dumbass. So this thing gives you influence, which makes it awesome. We're going to put a Fortress of Redemption right there when we can, when we get 100 influence saved up, that is. So the Apothecary is up. We can get Tactical Marines. Hey, let's get some. And now we can um, acquire a new tile. As you can see, we don't have any slots for any more buildings. So we need to hit this and choose a place. They're exactly the same. So let's go here. In two turns, we'll have another tile to um, build more buildings on. Makes you wait a lot for your stuff this game. 
so used to the relatively faster pace of Age of Wonders. You can instantly build units if you want to. So we're going to capture this for sure. Giving us plus two influence per turn. Hopefully. Oh, hey. Some more Xenos crap. Finish off this Catechon Devil, please. Yay. So these things are a massive pain in the ass. They can enslave you. Take control of the unit forever. It's not like a few turns or something until you kill the enslavers. And they're pretty tough this early in the game. So they can be a massive pain in the ass, especially late game when you're trying to like move your units to the front and they run, a, run across a random enslaver. And then they're enslaved. And you have to like send units back just to get rid of them. So this Siren Caster thing is an alien artifact from the old ones, they say. And they give different bonuses. This one being a Siren Caster increases the loyalty of your cities, apparently. I'll take its word for it. Discovered enslavers. Here they are. Decent in melee, too. Three. Three. What's that? All right. Two attacks each for each of the three models. Two damage. That's pretty painful this early in the game. Although, Tactical Marines do have armor, which is nice. Let's end the turn. And they moved away. We should double back here and take out the um, Catrician Devil layer, though. I bet it spawned one already. No, it hasn't. These guys are low. We need to heal them up, but it takes forever, as I said. You can get a shot over here. Yeah, good, good bolt gun sounds, I think. Order cities is a strange way to say, hey, do something in your city. So now we've got more slots to use. We can build more stuff. Straight away, I want more influence, please. Unfortunately, we don't get an influence bonus here. I'm also going to queue up a refectory for more requisition because I know that, uh, as you can see, our next quest, we need to be generating 20 requisition per turn. And it will give us some influence, I think. No, it just, yeah, it gives us influence. Which is a big deal. So we're going to kind of hold off on getting more units because they cost you, of course, requisition upkeep until we've got that plus 20 if we can. We might need to get some stuff up, though. Got a new tile. Thank you for telling me. We'll end the turn. As you can see, the game's kind of lifeless. Not a lot of personality. It doesn't help that the visuals are so, so very bland, so very dated. We always get this with Warhammer 40k games, it seems. I mean, there is that Inquisitor Marta around, which I've not played myself, but from what I've seen, it looks pretty damn good. So it is possible, guys. Dawn of War 2 showed you what's possible. Hell, Dawn of War 1 showed you what's possible. No excuses. Just layers being a pain in the ass. It's going to make us stand here and shoot it for ages. And it might spawn another devil. Here's our reclusium. We've researched it. Now we can actually build it. And we're going to build it over here after this queue's done. Note that it takes the resources immediately. Does it give it back? Let's, tr let's see. It does. Hey. So we'll get that reclusium going as soon as possible and then queue up the, what's it called? Refectory. Order your units. More shooting guys, I'm afraid. Same animations over and over. Frag grenades are great, I promise you. They will one-shot the Kroot Hounds if you have all five Marines throwing them. Choose some research. Okay. Chaplin sounds great, but um, he costs like 120 influence, which is crazy. So we're going to go for some Assault Marines, which are amazing. And then Crack Grenades, which are also awesome. Get as many grenades as you can is my tip. Oh, hey. Here's a resource thing we can come and grab. In fact, that looks like... An item. It's like a pickup. Sometimes it's just resources, but a lot of the time you actually get a piece of war gear.
that you can give to your hero. Which is cool. Let's keep shooting this thing. You can do it, guys. I believe in you. We have 100 influence, so we can get a Fortress of Redemption next turn when it comes off cooldown. We're going to put it over here to get some extra influence and also kind of look after this area. Because the random monsters that, that run around will steal these things from you for some reason. It's another kind of annoying mechanic. Why do they have them get taken by random neutral monsters? It makes no sense. Another thing it shares in common with those Warlock games that I mentioned. Some really annoying stuff can go on. Okay, I might as well send these marines over here. It might take them a while though. Can I even get here? Okay, I need to go around here. By default, they will avoid this wire weed stuff when they path. We've grown population again. Not that we really need it. We've produced some tactical marines. Yes, we did. And we produced a assimilarium. Assimilarium. Is that a thing? I don't think that is. They're making up words. We can get our Fortress of Redemption. Right there. It can't fire the turn it arrives. But will help us deal with these bastards. It does have... What does it have? A last cannon? Yeah. It's twin linked. So more accuracy. As you can see. Decent damage. Only fires once though, right? Is that right? Yep. Order units. Please blow up. Before you spawn another thing. Ah! One hit point. So many times you'll find stuff with... You'll leave, leave stuff with one hit point in this game. It's, it's infuriating. Why, why are you bothering me? Oh, they want me to produce something in the Opothecarian. We could get more tax. But that's a lot of tax, and we're trying to get our 20 requisition per turn, as you can see. Generally, in this game, and in Forexes in general, you don't want to be floating resources, or floating resources per turn. You want to spend them when you can, you want to be aggressive and get a bunch of stuff on the field. But um, this quest kind of works against that. Here's some flying bastards. What are they called? Psych... I don't know how to say that. Psychnuin? Psychnuin. And since they're flying, we have reduced accuracy against them, and melee weapons can't hit them at all. Luckily, they have no armor. So they do go down relatively easily, and frag grenades are pretty good against them. Let's finish it off. Do we get XP from that? I hope we do. Yay, note that the, all, everything surrounding gets XP. Even these things. These things can level up. You can rename units as well. For some reason, these guys have been called Prime Helix. They randomly get these titles as they level up, which is a nice touch, but um, it doesn't like tell you why or anything. I assume it's related to what they've done. So we'll see if these guys come at us and then chuck a frag grenade or five at them. Here's another thing we can capture. Promethium relay pipes for two energy per turn. That'll be nice. Here they are. And we've discovered this unit. So what they got going on? They're a flyer. Annoying. And they can do this thing. I've never had one die. I've never had a unit die to one of these things. So I've not seen that happen. They can use space slip. Damage reduction. Which is annoying as well. They're like cliff races from Morrowind basically. Again, not the best model work going on over here guys. I mean, I, I demand more. Why can't I have better models in my Warhammer 40k games. Yes, I'm, I'm sure this is a low budget game. But they still charge you 30 quid for it. It's like 31 pounds or something. Total War Warhammer wasn't that... Was like only 10 pounds more than that on release. Now you can get it for way less. And look at the quality and effort that's gone into that game. These guys are going to come pick up this thing. Ruins of Vol. As you can see, it gives you two research per turn, which is pretty good. Research is often king in a 4x game. Perhaps less so in this one. It's much more about using your units well and preserving them. Which is not too hard to do. I mean, it might be a half-decent 4x for someone to get into if they haven't played one before. 
But again, I don't think it is at at full price, I'm afraid. When there's Total War Warhammer out there, yes, I'm, I'm, I'm aware it's not a 40k game, but it's really good. And uh, that's, that's, the bar has been set, I'm afraid. Still wants me to get some more Marines up. We've got our Reclusium in five turns. We've got three Tactical Marines. I'm not going to get any because it's going to take us like six turns, isn't it? Yeah. And we're going to get access to Assault Marines in three turns. And those guys are awesome. I'm going to start getting those guys out as soon as I can. So just go to sleep, please. Stop bothering me. We found a Ruins of Vol. Hopefully we get a piece of war gear out of it. You can also buy stuff with your heroes, which is weird. If you go over here, it, it's like a shop. And it literally calls it a shop. This is some really strange stuff. Oh wow, this is a lot of flying bugs. I don't like this. Did you drop a model? No, you didn't. Well done. Okay, not sure why I didn't get any. Didn't seem to get any Overwatch shots there. By the way, usually that that happens. Where's this thing? Oh, rally point. So I'm gonna grab this. Please be a piece of war gear. Yay! What is this? I've not seen this before. Zote hide jerkin. Passive healing rate and some hit points. That's pretty good. We'll give that to our captain once he gets onto the field. So over here, I'm going to chuck some grenades. It's not going to kill him outright, is it? No. So that's, I guess, double grenade. These guys are only throwing three. What about you just shooting here? Not enough. And that goes on a 10 turn cooldown. Wow, wasn't even enough to take him out with that unit depleted over there. These guys can one-shot those crew hounds, crew hounds, though, if they come close. What did I skip? No, I don't want to skip you. Let's try and finish these fellas off. Not going to happen. Because that accuracy debuff from flying, it will mean that I'll probably just fly away now and not try to finish off our attacks over here. I have never lost a Tactical Marine Squad, which means, of course, I'm going to lose some here. As I said, this game isn't too hard. The only unit I've ever lost was uh, Scout Wings. Hey, there's an Overwatch shot. Assault Marines are available. They have bolt pistols and chainsaws. They really pack a punch. They can also jump, of course. They've got a pretty strange attack animation. We're going to do some more shooting over here. The others have buggered off, I guess. Two up some shots. Note that the, the AI turn all happens at, at the same time. It's hard to keep track. Almost took them out there. Are they on one freaking hit point again? They are. Uh, yeah, let's just use our frag grenade. Die got one XP for it this is the corner I'm in right yeah this is not necessarily water here it's just like a cliff or something although it does seem to be water yes it does that, that might literally be the edge of the map we'll queue up a move for you to go up here and choose some more research we need another from this tier and I'm gonna get crack grenades they have more armor penetration than frag grenades but I don't get the bonus per model thing that these guys get with the blast but still pretty damn useful because there's some freaking stuff wandering around here let me tell you oh my goodness four crude hounds really game has been really aggro this game maybe i should have got more tactical marines in fact i didn't start getting my assault marines did i damn it Oh, maybe I didn't even have the resources. Oh, I would have. Oh, I think I would have. Mistake. Mistakes were made. Okay. Shoot some bugs. I guess I don't take damage from this wire weed, right? 
bastards. I'm going to back up into this thing, which I think gives you, like, more healing rate or something. It's four units, though. We might lose these guys. Because it takes six freaking turns for our assault marines to come out. We wouldn't have had those tacks anyway if I did try and build them, I don't think, by now. Would have been a couple of more turns still. Uh, oh, we can get a shot from this thing. Game really feels kind of barren with no voice work. You really expect it in a Warhammer 40k game. Add so much personality. Those guys are leaving, okay. I'm fine with that, but it means that this resource point here is going to be under constant threat of these things. So once we get our 150 influence, we're going to want to put another Fortress of Redemption down here, I would think. And the bugs left as well. There are enslavers around here still, so I want these guys to heal up, please. Both of you heal up. It's going to take them a while. You might need to run away. Because you're down to two models. Wow. Yeah, get the hell out of it. I don't think they'll chase. I can take some shots on this thing if they do. Let's end turn. You can hit space to end turn. That's like the only hotkey I've seen. The only hotkey I've seen communicated to me. So we're up to five population now. And we've got our reclusiasm. Re what is it called? Reclusium. Reclusiasm. So we can get a force commander. Or a captain, rather. I always call him a force commander. It's going to happen. He's amazing. You should get him as soon as you possibly can. We don't. Ha it's not off cooldown to use this anyway. It's going to cost us 80 influence. But he's well worth it. Legendary hero that excels at close combat. It certainly does. I'm going to instantly give him this thing. I don't know what a zot is. But we appreciate your sacrifice for your skin. Heal up, guys. You can do it. End turn. Just not, not a whole lot going on. I mean, the signs of a good Forex game is that it gives you very tough decisions to make every single turn. Interesting and difficult decisions. And this game doesn't really do it. I mean, it's not, that's not the be-all and end-all of a Forex. But it's usually... A good start. These guys are healed up. And now you can go and capture this. Oh. These things are a bastard. Imperial Bastion. We're going to keep away from this because they're so tough. 10 armor, 34 hit points. With bolt guns, it'll take an age to take them down. Yeah, we discovered it, alright. What are we at per turn? We're only at 6 requisition per turn right now. Ways off, but... um. You can be a little bit slow in the, in the start of the game getting that stuff. Crack grenades up. Execute queued orders. What are my queued orders? You guys? Yeah, move back. We're getting some en energy from this now. This will line up pretty nicely to be able to get another fortress. We need to decide where to put it. Do we put it on this front line? Or over here to defend against that pack of crude hounds that have run off somewhere down here. Hmm. Choose some research. We can go to the next tier now. There is a quest to get a librarian. But I haven't used him too much. Let's get... There's these doctrines which are pretty good. But they cost like 50 influence each. And you're so pressed for your influence usage to get the Fortress of, of Redemption. That it's a, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty tough sell. Let's get some... Oh, we're going to need this, actually. Because we're going to hit our population cap soon. But what is our population cap at right, right now? Only four required. So we don't need it right now. Let's get... Devastators unlocked. They've got last cannons. And we're two turns away from our assault marines. I'd love to get two out. How much are they? 40 requisition. I think we will do. When we get it, that is. We need, to, we need some requisition income here. We haven't found... Usually you find 
resource outpost things that give you requisition, but not this game. Not this game. I mean, it's not absolutely vital that, again, it's not vital that you do these chapters over here. But the, some of the rewards are pretty nice. You're still healing up agonizingly slowly, as are you. And I'm left in a situation where I can't really do anything. Because you can stumble into huge amounts of trouble in this game as you venture out. So you want everything healed up, you want everything together. I guess we can move you to the northern front. Once our force commander's here, captain, sorry, we can put him at the head of our army and uh, not have to be so afraid. Let's end our turn. Please heal faster. Burn the heretic, yeah. Not sure, I'm not sure why their legs just don't look right to me. Maybe it's just their posture. It's their pose. End turn. Didn't I tell you to end turn? Assault Marines next turn. Hurrah, here they are. They're strong. Very, very strong. They can jump over stuff, which is useful. And it's got a relatively short cooldown, isn't it? Three turns? Yeah. We'll queue up and move for them. All of their weapons are one range. Yeah. Well, this is zero range. But they can't shoot their bolt pistols from a couple of hexes away. We produce some stuff. Now we're making 11 per turn. That's not too bad. The refectory, refectories do give you 6 per, which is alright. I need to um, see my buildings, please. So we filled up this with 3 buildings. We need to acquire a new tile from the hideous UI over here. We can get another 3. We can just acquire this, which we can't build buildings on. But um, we'll give us that two requisition per turn it's worth it i think for two turns of sitting here we'll instantly queue up this one and you're still healing do you heal faster in here i think you do please do that order units nope you're still waiting guys you're still waiting you're still healing well done and turn I hear something walking around. Oh, more hounds. Our, our um, fortress is getting an overwatch shot in there. That seems very loud. I think we'll chuck some frag grenades on them. With our assault marines, we could maybe just, yeah, just wipe them out in melee actually. Very strange attack animation for those guys. They all like Slice downwards very slowly in unison. Oh, these guys leveled. Oh, my fortress leveled up. Weird. Can you rename these? I guess you can. I, l I do like strategy games where it lets you rename stuff. I do like that. You guys are still healing. Please heal faster. Look at these. These guys are still not maximum health. I could run forward into this thing and like recruit hounds and enslavers and they could just instantly die. These things are going to come and try and attack a building for some reason. Good luck with that guys. Here is our captain. Again, not the best model for a captain in the world and weird jerky Kind of robotic animations. We can equip him with this just by hitting it. Seems like we've got six slots per person. He's got a power sword. Decent penetration. Three attacks. And 100% accuracy, which is nice. Also got a bolt pistol. I think they are, yeah, he uses them both at the same time, which is why he does massive amounts of damage. And why do assault marines seem to do a massive amount of damage? So we've got 6 out of 6 population, but we're not using all of it, right? Are we? No, we're using 5 of it. So we're going to need to research the Dormus, whatever it's called, Dormus area. To get more population. It doesn't give you 6 more, which is not bad. We've got our captain. We acquired a new tile, thank you very much. And now we're waiting for our captain to get to the front line. Move the assault marines up. We've got, f we've got four units here now. We should be able to move if these guys were healed, that is. 
Please, please, faster. Just make, if they just made everything a little bit more snappy in this game. Cool. My entire fortress shot at some hounds and they did nothing. What kind of hounds are these? I know that there are enslavers around here. It says that they enslave the weak-minded. I'm not sure what that means, if that means units with low morale or something, but I've seen them do it to units that have taken no damage and are just like fresh out of the uh, fortress over here. What do you want from me again? Oh, let's get some more assault marines. It's going to lower our requisition per turn again, but assault marines are awesome and you want, you want bodies on the table, guys, in this game. Because you're going to get attacked from two sides by two different factions and you got all these neutral things. It can get pretty hectic. Some overwatch fire going on. How far? Oh, I can get my new fortress. Would be nice to put it on the front lines up here, but again, we might put it down here. Because I don't want the hounds to step on this and I need to bring something all the way back to get it back. And they're getting into melee with my guys. Note that when you melee something, it doesn't hit you back. Which is something I'm not really used to. In a turn-based game. Usually I'm used to like counter-attacks going on. Did those hounds just run away? Oh, I'm getting some XP for my captain. So we do start with a level. Top tip. Get this thing. Deeds of glory. Whenever... Our captain gets XP, i.e. something dies around him. You get influence. And quite a lot of it. This is an amazing ability. And there's three levels of it, as are three levels of these things. This is just a more powerful attack, and this is a self-heal. All pretty good, but influence is awesome. Get it. Uh, we're just going to charge forward here. Screw the hounds. Not much of a threat other than standing on my things. So you, what is this thing again? This is energy per turn. This is research. Let's just put it over here. We'll give us some vision as well. There's some freaking hounds immediately. Go away. Order units. Okay. Grenade time. Should finish off these guys. Oh, almost. Almost. That's annoying. Can we jump to here and melee them to death? Press the right, the correct mouse button. There we go. Where's the range of this thing? Do not like this thing. I can throw um, crap grenades at it now. You can also get melter bombs, which is fun. Let's kill you. Not quite. Of course, I forgot that they can't hit them with their chainswords. Can this do it? No, we're going to have to frag them. Otherwise, it just takes too long to kill them. Imagine getting through all of these, whatever they're called, without grenades. Take forever. Bye. You guys can hopefully finish it off. Still haven't healed up, by the way. Here you go. Boom. They're still alive. I cannot believe it. You can do it, fortress. Hurrah. It'd be pretty difficult to hit a giant flying bug with a las cannon. Hold on. End turn. More hounds. Just randomly coming to attack my buildings for no reason. Just to be annoying. There's no real, no real sense of kind of unit behaviours, you know. Croots don't kind of stalk isolated units and try and take them down. They'll just headbutt your buildings. Shoot these guys, might as well. This, our main city is not in range, unfortunately, to shoot. We could come and grab this thing. Wow, our marine's almost down over here. Force commander could do some work. Again, 
not the best animations you're ever going to see. Do you have armor? A little bit. We could throw some crack grenades at it, but I kind of want to save them for that thing. I can melee you. That is so loud. Let's do lots of shooting over here now. At least it lets you queue things up. Hurrah, these guys can now flee and heal up for 15 years. I'm not going to wait for you. They did level up. Those are my prime helix guys, whatever that means. We've got a new tile. Alright, I can shoot with this thing. Are you one hit point again? Oh, three. I'll let you off. Oh, hey, you leveled up. We can't get the next level of this immediately, unfortunately, but we are going to pick up Power Strike. It's not going to let me use it, even though it's lit up here. It's lying, because we've got no actions left. Order our city. Did we get our tile? We did. Um, we can't afford anything, though. Might need another... We're actually losing energy, so we need an energy thing. But yeah, I need to save up a little bit. Again, we've found no outposts that give us requisition. Very odd. City, just go to sleep, please. I can't do anything with you. Recruits everywhere. And we will probably never get rid of them because they'll just run as soon as they get slightly low. I need to send something back to deal with them. Devastator Space Marines ready. They have heavy weapons, which means you lose a bunch of accuracy if you move and then shoot. But they do pack a punch otherwise. In fact, I think I might send my captain back here to slice up these guys and get a bunch of XP and therefore a bunch of influence. So I'm going to kill this guy and you'll see our, inf our influence go up as our captain will get XP for being nearby. There we go. What do we need for our next one? 200 now? Yep. Yeah. Okay, we'll send you back. You're on crew slaughtering duty. The rest of you are heal. Please, and do it well. Let's just venture out here. Try and show you some more stuff. Not be too careful. Energy over there again. No freaking requisition. So we just hit this, and we get whatever the benefit is. This thing, loyalty, apparently. Let's see if it's lying to us. We're getting eight from buildings. Is that right? We're getting seven from our great hall. No, six. So yeah, maybe... No, we're getting two here. So it's not actually affecting us, it doesn't seem. I don't understand this thing. Plus four loyalty. Does it like need to be in range of it? I think it needs to be in range of it, which obviously ours isn't. I wonder if we can use a fortress to get the benefit of that thing. Let's shoot this stuff. Choose a research. We're going to go for... Company Chapel to give us more loyalty. I think we want to go back and grab the armory, actually. It'll be quick, and we can build it over here once we get some energy going. Get energy from here. We still need some requisition, though. Turn 28, and not a whole lot have happened. Even by this game standards, this has been slow. The one I'm going to load up for you is like uh, turn 65, I think, and I already took out one of the factions on the map. Do I even need to power strike you? Maybe I do. I cannot one-shot the crew. Cannot one-shot the crew. Let's just do this then. Please die. I'm 
No. No. I'm gonna come and grab this energy. There might be something terrifying over there. Nope. I hate that system, the way that you can't edge forward and uncover the map. You need to just go for it unless you don't want to waste a turn not moving very far kind of thing. There's another resource over here. There's like another buried artifact thing, which could be fun. Uh oh. These things are not nice. Castellan robots. Ancient monstropi monstrosities, I can speak, that stamp to war each an unliving giant assigned a deadly purpose by its master. Solus, these metallic golems are given thought only by the doct Doctrina wafers in their recessed chest slots. What is this stuff? What do they do? They have Hammer of Wrath, Aura of Fear, reduces melee damage, that's not nice. And of course, Overwatch. They're pains in the ass. Eight armor, a whole bunch of hit points, and they hit pretty hard too with heavy phosphor blasters and this thing. Incending Combustor. It's a giant flamethrower, basically. Not happy with that, although we do have stuff here, including crack grenades. Should be able to get our new fortress up as soon as it's available. Hopefully we can just clear out this crew and they won't come for me. Discovered another region. What does that mean? I'm not sure what this means. Must be something to do with cities per region. Town 29. The hounds continue to harass the space marines. Where did these bastards go to now. Oh, come on. And of course I can't move again. Shard of Vol discovered. That's this thing over here. Let's grab it. More research is good. And it might get another piece of wall gear. Yeah, we got one. What is it? A temporary shield. So this is a thing that has limited uses, which is kind of sucky, but hey, it's what we got. There's a thing over here. Oh, this is the Shard of Wall. Gives us plus one energy, plus one because those things are called something else. What are they called? Ruins of Wall. Okay. We're going to keep moving up. I'm not sure where that Castellan thing went to. You guys need to heal. All the units, you guys can move up. Did I get some Devastators? I couldn't afford them, could I? No. They are 60 requisition. Soon. Soon we can, although we might save up and try and get this thing going. Can we get any buildings? We can get some energy, but we need that requisition. Upkeep is one energy. We can't afford that right now. 30 and 30. Give me that requisition. And we will get an, a, what's it called? What did they call it? Generatorium. Generatorum, I should say, over there. I swear they're making up all these words. More exciting combat over here. End turn. Here they all come again. I'm trying to speed it up by right clicking. Speed up these animations, you can't do it. Oh hey, we found some Necrons. Look! Some... Oh wow, they died. Some vaguely half decent looking units maybe? I mean it's a stretch. It's a stretch. They do look better than the Saturn ones though. Again, some decent sound effects. We've got our armory research. We don't. We can't really build one right now, though. Yep, there are some Necrons, all right. Which is gonna suck. I still can't find these freaking crew. Where did they go? Okay. Some Marines, you can come over here and do this stuff.
order units. So what are these fellas? They're Tomb Blades. I don't think I saw these in my other games. I wonder why. I just saw lots of Necron Warriors and Lords and Scarabs and those Canoptech Spider things. So they have Twin Links Gauss Blasters. They have the Gauss Trait, which means you have a minimum value that can be inflicted based on the hit point of the target, I think, is what that's meant to be saying to you. Rapid Fire, and they're Twin Links. Pretty good units. Six armor, eight hit points. Not the toughest things, then. Five movement points is crazy. Yep, I discovered some Tomb Blades, all right. We got some assault marines, that's all good. Do I want to move up here? They're obviously fighting something. There's some kind of resource over here. Maybe it's time for us to come and fight this Bastion. So that's going to be fun. Shooting at this thing for about 15 minutes. Can throw crack grenades at least. Which do penetrate some kind of armor. Research. Hmm. I've never seen the land speeders. I always skip them and go straight for trying to get predators up. I guess we will... I do want the loyalty, I think. Because our base resource production is has been not too great so far. And more loyalty means more resources. Recruits run away, of course. They freaking do. They will eventually destroy this thing. Because we're not letting it heal. So we need to babysit it. Okay. Time to move in on this random bastion that was hanging around. What is this thing? That's his overwatch shot, as you can see. Wow, took out two of my assault marines. Are you serious? I can't see what this thing is. What are we going to do? Nothing. Let's throw some crack grenades. Decent damage. Four doesn't sound like a lot, but that's decent damage. Now we can throw more. Get these guys up to here. More Promethean relay pipes. Wow. So we can safely take another shot on our assault marines. You just need to like cycle them in and out and very slowly heal and very slowly. Very much attrition based warfare in this game. Execute the auto moves, please. We've grabbed this thing. Where that crew hound has gone, I don't know. I'm gonna find it though. Unfortunately, we couldn't. We could have. We should have jumped over there. Obviously, I'm a fool. As I said, very early in the morning. I've been playing this game all night. Alrighty. They can attack. See, everything happens at the same time. So where do I look right now? Can't zoom out far enough to see it all. There's no super zoom out strategic map view type thing either. Just stuck like this. So you have five hit points. Yeah, and you might die if they shoot you again. So let's back away and very slowly heal. Fortunately, we've used our prep grenades over here, so we need to just shoot. These guys can move in and use it, though. Taste the Emperor's Fury. Down to almost half. We're doing it. We're doing it. Now I can jump. Can I insta-kill them with just a melee attack? I can. That weird... Very strange attack animation. It's like they're kneeling down almost. Uh, you, cause you should heal up, actually. How many were over here? Four? I don't think I killed any before that. Execute squad orders. Oh, you. Oh, you're right. You found them. Hold on. Please die. Huzzah. There's another resource over here. I'm going to go and grab it. Order our cities. Hmm. Still can't get Devastators, eh? Balls. Just queue up some energy.
requisition that will be done next turn. Won't be enough to pop this. But it'll be something. Here come some Necrons. Just hit them back, guys. They're right there. Notice that you have no option to change your... Your, the chapter you're controlling and it doesn't even tell you what chapter you are very very strange that they didn't they didn't want to pay for the rights to actually use ultramarines or anything unit discovered warriors they have this thing but they need to research it so most necron units have this necrodermis repair thing which is a big instant heal but as you can see it costs a bunch of influence and of course overwatch good baseline of stats too Scary units. Grenades are good. Grenades are so good against them. Against everything. Go back here and heal, guys. Is it worth getting attacks in here? These guys are going to roll up on us and start shooting. Maybe the Bastion will go for them instead. I can't... Oh, you're full health. Fair enough. Well done. Well done. Can you kill this guy? The hound. Getting some XP at least. Are you leveled up? Why does it not say the level indicator? Alright, you're still level 1. Fair enough. We got a refectory, which means we're now getting 17 per turn. We're pretty close. Something stole our thing over here. Necrons. It was. What is this? Imperial Guard over here. Or Astro Militarum, whatever you call them. Stealing stuff over there, too. Uh oh. It's just hounds. What is it then? It's another one of those ruins of wall. Can we throw a grenade? Only one unit chucking it, though. Maybe you can finish them off? No. The grenade is still the best way. Let's do that. Almost. It was close. You got healed up. Well done. I guess we head north. Look how long it took those guys to heal up. I forgot they were even in this game. Produce refectory. Some shots. You have already moved, unfortunately. See what these Necrons do up here. Why are you shooting me? There's Necrons. That looks painful. The units just melt into the ground as well. It's like everything's just... It's just like the minimum they could have got away with. In terms of presentation, I'm mainly having a go at presentation here. The mechanics of the game are relatively solid, if not if not particularly spectacular. But visual design, animations, bad. Level two of submarine, so I'm going to cut this here and I'll head into my later game save. I can just see some of the other stuff. I'll see you then, guys. Hey, people, here we are with a later game in progress. I started in the southeast corner. I went north, smashed up some Necrons. They were over here. I wiped them out. You can see the remains of their tomb. And now I'm heading back south because orcs are on the western front. We also have a quest. A quest randomly popped up. Well, not randomly. To defeat an enemy camp of some Astro Militarum guys. I didn't realise it just spawns them right next to your base. They're over here. So we're going to go check them out. We've got a librarian up. Here he is. I chose to give him this thing. Obduration Mechanicum. Which messes up ranged weaponry and also damages vehicles he's i can't 
unfortunately show you his other options. He's got like an AoE attack thing that looks pretty cool. And he can also levitate, which, which sounds fun. My uh, captain is an absolute beast. Level 5 now. And I got this thing. Morning Blade of Lazarek. I bought it from one of those Jokero camps. This one over here. It cost me 200 influence. But it's pretty insane. 100% more damage by group size. Which is odd wording. It means, hey, if there's more units, you'll do more damage. He decimates high model squads. And also, plus 1.5 damage by group max affected. I'm not sure what that means. But hey, more damage. And we've got these things, which we got out of some uh, shrine majinga. Let's head south, because we've got to fight some orcs down here. Got a bunch of marines. These guys were called Honored Tacticians, the level 5. These Devastators, also level 5. We've got some level 6 tactical marines over here. I'm not sure what the max level is. We're going to take a shot at this Castellan robot. Big chunk of damage, as you can see, because those guys didn't move, so they had full accuracy. Order units. Can't use our melter bomb for it. Unfortunately, we used that to destroy the Necron city. We threw melter bombs at a city. But I can chuck crap grenades. What's going to do the most damage? 1.8 if we shoot it. And 2.2 if we throw. Time to throw. In terms of research, I picked up stuff to make our marines better, basically. Frag grenades. Crap grenades. Crack on bolts, which makes your bolt guns better. And melter bombs. I've also got predators lined up. They are on the way. Well, they will be. Got my armory. We can very soon get dreadnoughts, but right now I am researching extra infantry armor. Just make all of the infantry better. Sounds good to me. And heroes seem to count as infantry. As you can see, they get grenades, as you saw in the last early game. Which went on far too long. Apologies for that. Did not realise it was like an hour. Let's... So the orcs are coming from here. So I've had these guys just protecting this approach. While we... Come on down. You guys can stop peeling and start shooting. Not super effective. But every little counts. Okay, we've got some assault marines kind of flanking around. Sleet slow over here. Librarian can move up, as can these tactical marines. Let's find us some naughty Imperial Guardsmen. That's right, run away. Overwatch fire. And they they now they should take some shots. There we go. A heavy weapon squad with missile launchers. Las guns again. Decent sounds on those las guns, I think. Let's have a look at this guy. Look, there's actual detail on the textures. Why is there not any detail on the tactical marines in your video game? I don't understand it. Heavy weapon squad discovered. What do you think like then? Decent armor pen. Not very good accuracy. Good range, good damage. Kind of like how you'd design a missile launcher, I guess, in a video game. Again, the, the, the design fundamentals are solid. The mechanics are okay. It's just unremarkable. And feels kind of sloppy and low budget. And uh, I don't think that's an excuse anymore because there's plenty of low budget games that look amazing. So let's shoot some stuff. Or maybe frag grenades and stuff. Hey, we have some. Can shoot with you. Overwatch. I wish I had his shockwave thing now. I could have stood there and hit a bunch of stuff. Ouch. Sentinels. So can we use this thing on you? I guess we can because it's lit up now. No, we can't reach. I guess it will affect anything. But um, we're just going to grenade. Grenades are so good. I don't know why you would not get them immediately. Should be able to finish them off. Yes. Can we just finish them off with shooting? We can. 
Let's do that. Devastators are going to lose accuracy if they move, so we'll sit here and do a whole bunch of damage, as you can see. Boom. These guys can jump in. Or not. Why can't they jump? Did I already use all of the... Does it cost movement? Let me see this. Alright, it consumes movement. It's not an action. Fair enough. Should be like greyed out then. Can you finish off these guys? You can. So I guess they've... Have they got a city? It just looks like ruins to me. Do we chase down this thing? Do we have any more grenades? We do. In fact, we have a melter bomb. Here we have some orky stuff. Mech guns. And as you can see, the again, the models are marginally better than the Space Marines. They've really got the short end of the stick, these tacks. Shall we throw a melter at you? Looks like all of the other grenades. I guess we should. It does a lot of damage. Can we finish up? No. These guys should be able to, even with the accuracy debuff. Boom. And you melt into the ground. Of course you do. I guess we can start stepping you guys forward. It's not actually super important that I win this. Let's just see some cool orky stuff. So I haven't seen much of it yet. I always seem to start... I always seem to find Necrons and Astro Militarum first. So what am I doing in my city right now? I've got some Predators queued up. I've got some more Assault Marines queued up. Because I've got some decent income here and there's no reason to just to sit on it. I'm also getting a company chapel. I should get some of these scouts up as well to see those again. As you can see, none of the units, I've, I thought for sure that tanks would have energy upkeep, but they don't. Seems to be more of a building upkeep thing, energy. End turn. Those guys are getting away. What is this? I've not seen this thing before. I've seen killer cans. I've seen boys. I don't know what that is. Grenades, guns. These marines are pretty low. Oh boy, grenades. That was painful. Time for some revenge. You guys need to run away and not into that. All the way down here. How much health do you have? I don't think we can finish you off with this. It says it does 8 damage and I'm going to trust it. Looks like it's the, still the best thing to do, though. And that was it. It was purple. It was a purple thing. Let's jump over here. More like hover. Yeah, these models are not great. I'm going to keep saying it. Because I'm amazed that they, that they can't do a better job. So many War, Warhammer 40k games come out. And just mess up the visuals. Hoo ha! Please die. Nice. Leave my tactical marines alone. Oh, they're shaken now. That might mean they they run away. They're gonna get have messed up um, morale. Oh, he's leveled. Well done. I can get shockwave. Just like an AOE around him. Seems to do. Seven attacks. I don't know if they just mean one, two, three, four, five, six, and like another one on him, or does each hex get hit seven times? That would be crazy. What is this thing then? A war buggy. I wasn't aware this was a thing for orcs. It's got a twin link to big shooter. Okay. Attacks a bunch of times, not the best accuracy, no armor penetration. 
as you'd expect from an orky gun. We've got some tank busters. Arms look really weird on all these units. As you may have guessed from this video, I'm not super up on this game. Feels like 20 pounds or something, 15, 20 pounds, and you're really into Warhammer 40k, sure. But um, as I've said, it's not. It's basically full price. A lot of games launch at this price, and this it's just lacking. It's just lacking, guys. Get get go get yourself Total War Warhammer. I know it's fantasy, but fantasy is awesome too. And it's magnitudes better than this game. Just way better scope, way better production values, way better gameplay. Is it fair to compare a massive budget strategy game with years of history to this, which might be this studio's first game? I don't even know. Well, why not? They launched at almost the same price. They both want your money. Let's get rid of this thing. That sounds very loud to me. We've got some mech guns. Okay. Tractor cannon. Very bad accuracy. Why is the accuracy so bad? Did they get demoralized? They did. Awesome. These devastators are in trouble though. This is a lot of stuff over here. I'm playing sloppily so we can see some stuff otherwise you'd have to very slowly creep across probably would have just waited for my captain to get down it do we take a shot we could chuck some grenades we still have three models that'd be decent i think that was all right killed a couple I want to see a Predator tank. Some killer cans over there. Dangerous in melee. Oh, hey, they rallied. I'm going to try my shockwave thing. Oh, no, they might kill these Marines. Oh, they went for the Librarian. That was dumb. Oh, my Devastators went down, though. Boys got in there and chopped them up. Oh, they healed. Maybe they heal on kill or something, Orcs. I want you to see this shockwave thing. Okay, it was alright. Yeah, not too impressed. Wow, how did you survive my full squad of assault marines? What the hell? Oh, I guess the forest gives them defensive buffs. Don't think a forest will save you from Marines, I'm afraid. Oh, I moved my devastators. Should not have done that. Also should have shot at these guys. Which is what I'm gonna do now. They live! I swear they have less than a hit point right now. They're just rounding it up. Got some more assault marines. Um, I think they are needed more to the west. Really? I can't jump further? Just move to here then. All the units. We do have crack grenades available. Not ideal. But I'm going to run up and see what's here. Kill these guys. Left copters. They pack a punch, Orcs, as I expect. You guys can all die. We do have a frag. We might be able to get in here. What is this? A pain boy. What the hell? That is a bizarre looking pain boy. His head is massive. There's a little Gretchen on. It just looks like a small orc. That they like scaled down. Man.
being a Warhammer 40k fan and a PC gamer is tough. So much disappointment. You've used everything. Right, this will just queue it up for next turn or something? Yeah, I don't want that. Got our honoured tacticians moving up now. This is Astra Militarum colours. Grok's pasture is a apparently like Warhammer 40k cows and stuff. What the hell? Oh, mech guns. What is this? Just killer cans. Guess we can just take a shot. Why not? It's little things like that, the way that the movement works, that you can't edge forward and like scout properly. You have to just blunder into things and lose your units, which you took about 15 turns just to get up there. I want to see a war boss or something. What does the pain boy do? He's got furious charge. He's a hero. Mob rule. Oh. There's hit points instead of morale. Green tide, more healing rate. Might makes right. I guess it's like the same thing I have that gives influence when you get XP. Oh, it's just per combat, is it? They get an even better one. Here we go. Increases movement. For how much? Plus one. I wish I had plus one movement on my captain over there. I'm lacking his last cannons. Music's alright, I suppose. Nothing too amazing. Gets the job done. Do you guys have movement? No. Why did you bring me over here? Oh, you brought me to the city. What do you want from me now? Oh, I can get more units, can I? I just want more vehicles, please. Let's get two scout bikes. I guess I should build another armory, shouldn't I? Do I have a space? I don't. We are acquiring a tile, though. End turn. See, it's going on over it. Why doesn't it take the camera to where stuff is happening for me? I guess the, I guess their turn would take absolutely forever if it individually panned to every unit and did their actions. Should be an option for it though. We're losing marines left and right, trying to see stuff here. Now we've got some extra armor. They're up to nine. Awesome. I do have some frag grenades too. Have some of that. You have some of that and we'll spread the damage out. It's harder for them to hit back. Finish them off with these fellas. And hopefully these fellas. And eventually this guy. Lots of dead orcs as well, I'd like to see. Um, continue going west. Librarian, not nearly as impressive as the captain, I must say. Those chainsaws are so loud, you can heal up. Librarian, we're gonna suicide you forward, buddy. We got some Tech Priest Engine Seers. And some more Guardsmen. That's an Overwatch shot. These guys are full on melee, I think. Yes, they are. Not very tough. Just six hit points, but um, they can hurt you. Good penetration and some armor, too. What do we want to do to these fellas? Do we want to attack them? We should kill one model. Which of course lowers the damage. No! Yes. Wait. How did you lose two hit points and not a model? Was it spread? That was so annoying. Oh, this is my city again. Leave me alone. I don't want to buy more infantry right now. Just take forever to get to the front line. Research. Hey, Dreadnoughts. 
combat shields are in here. Let's skip to the end of this thing. Do we get land raiders? Orbital deployment sounds amazing. Actually get your stuff into the front line. I'm assuming it costs influence or something. I'm not sure. We've got apothecaries over here. Even more bolter buffs. I do like my bolt guns being really good. Close combat mastery. Signum. We've got a vindicator over here. Land speeder gets a multi-melter over here. What's the big marquee unit? No land radar. I don't see one. I am often very, very blind. Storm Raven gunship. Airborne transport unit, eh? I guess we get Terminators tier 7. Can take on virtually every ground opponent. So there's stuff. I mean, there's stuff to like. But, uh, so, many, so much of this game is a letdown. So much of this game is a letdown. This video is going to go on forever. Ouch. Bear in mind, this is on hard, by the way, guys. So if you're thinking of picking up this game and you're thinking, hey, this looks this looks pretty tough. You got, you're getting attacked from all sides here and, and losing things. I'm playing sloppily and it's on hard mode. You can just play on normal. Especially at the start. All the orcs ran away, huh? The ones we didn't kill, anyway. So I guess Astra Militarum are in the top left corner and Orcs are in the bottom left. Let's uh, keep on going to the Orcs. As you may have noticed, I didn't mention it, but this game has absolutely zero diplomacy. There's no way to interact at all with your enemies other than shooting them. Sound effects are good. Um... Man, my captain's not getting into combat here. It takes so long to do everything and get anywhere. It's the boss. What do you want, boss? Oh, little lines there, because he saw my captain. But no voice work. You pay £31 for a game. Put some voice lines in it, guys. Come on now. Can we use this thing again? We can. That was pretty effective. Can I jump over here and finish off the engine sears? In fact, I can crack grenade this guy. Hmm. I probably just want to finish these guys off. They would have just run away and be annoying. Do I just need to stand in here? live I shot las guns at you are oh, we leveled up again let's get more shockwave it seems effective those guys just healed up librarian is taking some shots Why do the killer cans look way, way smaller than the other ones? They should just be a single model and make it bigger. Because this just looks a little bit, a bit weird. Some serious exhaust going on. Let's come back over here. I wanted to stand on this thing and see if it works. I can't jump there, but I could move here and use shockwave. Oh no, I can't. It's on cooldown. Let's just stand here. See if it finishes the quest or something. Nope. What does it want me to do? Defeat enemy camp. Does defeat all the units, I suppose. Do that thing. Unfortunately, my uh, assault marines do not get melter bombs. Does it specify that in the research? This is scrolling strangely. Here we go. Yep, yeah, it does. 
Hey, we got a Predator tank. No way to uh, see what the unit is like here, by the way. You need to go into this compendium, compendium thing and look it up. But they're all in there. But again, just UI. Should be here. I should be able to like right-click and get a little window or something. Can I? Can I right-click and get a little window? No. Could just put them there. Could just put the stats right there in that tooltip. Predator's gonna... What's it got? It's got las cannons. Okay. Twin links. We'll head you in the direction of the orcs. Again, not the best looking tank we've ever seen. Are these the last fellas? Please die. My goodness. Let's go. Note that jumping doesn't make you move further. Just lets you move over stuff, like cliffs. Hey, boss commander can do some work. Captain, whatever. Will you use the power strike? I've got level two of it. He does a special animation. There we go. 9.1 damage. You guys can heal up. So can you. You are healed, I think. No, you're not, not quite. Let's heal up, everyone. Looks like an orc city over there. There you go. These are what, tank busters? Yeah. I believe they can like reinforce themselves or heal on this fungus. I think that's how it works. You're gonna die a lot. With this crazy, crazy sword I have. Oh, hey, war boss. What are you doing hiding over here? Has he got a rocket launcher? He does. 7.2 damage is strangely specific. And a power claw. Wow. He can fight for sure. There he is down there. Look at him. Crushes enemies in close combat and inspires allies. Can't be having that. Must die. What's his armor like? Only three. We could try and melt a bomb in him, but probably want to save that for the uh, buildings and stuff. You guys are healing. You guys should be healing. Discovered a war boss. We sure did. Has he got funky traits and stuff? What is this? Bust heads. Okay. Oh, you've leveled up again. Let's just get Power Strike. I would ordinary to get the le level 3 of this thing. But um, let's kill stuff faster. In this particular game right now. Where's that Predator tank? Get up there. So that was the quest. What did we get? Some forbidden knowledge. What's... Was that the extra research or something? Maybe? Oh, this is what we get now. We got this thing. Increase loyalty of the Great Hall. Visit the highlighted tile with Librarian. And we get forbidden knowledge for that. So tell me what it is. Might be just a piece of war gear. So we need to come back here. Okay. Get some cracks. Unfortunately, our last cannon is not in range. He's going to need to move and lose accuracy. In fact, he can't see through these trees, I think. So that sucks. Oh, hey, we can build more stuff. Like some, another armory, please. I don't want them dreadnoughts coming out. At least they're... 
I need to at least see a Dreadnought before I end this video. Ideally, I'd see it hit something, but how long is it going to take to get over here? This Pain Boy design is really weird. But hey, Orcs are weird, right? Just because I, I ain't seen a Pain Boy with another little fella on his back before. Alrighty, time to get some melee action going on. What? Died already? I thought there'd be a titanic battle for the ages. I can melt a bomb him. That would actually kill him. Or can we just kill him and shoot him? We can. Upgraded bolt guns, baby. And level 7 tactical marines. These guys are so slow. New name now. I guess there's not much to do over here. We can grab this thing. Maybe jump you fellas over. Eventually. If I press the correct buttons. There we go. Yep, more two pounds. What do we need now for the next one of these? 350. We're making decent, but remember that each one of these has an influence upkeep too. Damn it, we can't get there this turn. If I had levitate, I would have got it. I bet ya. Go, go, tank. Damn it. Region discovered shaken tour. What does it mean? I don't want to wait. Let's go. How many hounds are there? Doesn't seem to be that many uh, neutral creatures either. I've seen hounds. I've seen enslavers. I've seen those giant robot things. There's these ape things. There's the Lord of Skulls, I assume, somewhere. I mean, is that it? Is that it, Gladius? That's a poor showing. Well, I'm on the hex with a librarian. Oh, there's three of them. Oh, this is going to take forever. Where's the... Oh, goodness. Alrighty. Just hold my dreadnought, please. One turn, I can start. It's going to take so long. I might not get to my dreadnought. I don't know if I can take it any longer. I've got to end this video. It's going to be so long and so big. That came out wrong. Let's move up. We... Oh, alright, we just found it. There we are. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to call this here. This is Warhammer 40k Gladius Relics of War. If I had to sum it up, I'd say... A decent Forex, not worth full price. With poor production values. But decent mechanics. It's fun to be had here. Just not a huge amount of it. It doesn't seem to be very heavy on the content either. I mean, these are first impressions. Let's get that straight. But um, I've spent a few hours with it now. And there are many 4X strategy type games I'd rather play than this, unfortunately. There you have it, guys. Thank you very much for watching all the way through this thing. And I'll see you next time.